Hello everybody! Hello acorns and all sorts and mummies and daddies and grannies and granddads and all our lovely friends who've joined us today. We're so pleased to see you. We are nearly at the end of our journey, aren't we? Because yesterday as we went along the little road to Bethlehem we actually arrived in Bethlehem itself and we saw an innkeeper tell a lady and a gentleman with a donkey to go to a stable and that is really the most exciting thing we could have heard isn't it Benjamin and we've only got one more sleep till Christmas Eve and two more sleeps till Christmas Day oh I can hardly wait I bet you can't either, can you? Oh. Well, Benjamin wonders what you've been up to today. Well, he says he's been wrapping Christmas presents for his bear friends. And we've been out being deliverers, haven't we? It's so lovely taking Christmas presents to people. It's a way of giving love, isn't it? And receiving love when they give them to you too. Such a lovely thing to do. Oh, did you like Jenny's picture today? It had three baubles, didn't it? All shining the light and one had a star and one looked a bit like an eastern palace and one had a shepherd in it, I think. All very, very important things in our story, aren't they? Because we've met shepherds and sheep and we've met a king and we've seen the star every day. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> well, Benjamin. Oh, he says he really wants to see what's behind the door today. Because since we've arrived in Bethlehem, we can't really imagine what it might be. Shall we have a look and see? Now, little lamb wanted me to remind you that even though we've arrived in Bethlehem, we're still following the star. It's still shining in the sky, showing us the way, isn't it? And you know, even when you think you've got to the end of your journey, well, you're still on a journey to somewhere else, aren't you? So even though we're in Bethlehem itself, we're still on our journey to find the child. And we always will be. We'll always be learning. Little lamb, this is a beautiful star, isn't it? Shall we let her have a rest? And you can pop down and look after her. And Benjamin and I will get the big red door. Here it is. The big red door. And haven't you been counting well every day, haven't they, Benjamin? We've had a new number every day and you've known it perfectly. It's yet again another number, isn't it? And what have we got? It's another number with two numbers within it. So what's that number there? Yes, it's two, isn't it? And what's this one? Yes, it's a three. So a two first and then a three. What does that make? Well, Benjamin says, can you actually count that far? Can you? <gasps> yes, it's 23, isn't it? 23? <gasps> That's one before 24. Because it's 23. It's the 23rd day of our journey along the little rope to Bethlehem. And it's the 23rd of December. Wow. We've really come a long way, haven't we, Benjamin? Shall we see what's inside the big red door? See who's going to join all our other friends. Look at that! That's a big one, isn't it? Look at him! What do you think to that? What do you think, Benjamin? He says... He thinks he's a very heavy animal. I think he's right. Shall we have a closer look? Now then, look, here we are. Let's see what we can see about this animal. 
Well, Benjamin says he's got four legs again. Look, one, two, three, four. And he says he's got a swishy tail to bat the flies away. And he says he's got these things on his head, these horns. I wonder what they're for. Maybe they're to protect him or maybe they're to show who's in charge. He looks very in charge, doesn't he? Do you know what sort of animal he is, boys and girls? Well, Benjamin says he thinks he belongs on a farm or even in a stable. I think he's right. What do you think? He looks a bit like a cow, doesn't he? Except he's even bigger than an ordinary cow. I wonder what you call him. Shall we have a look in our story and I'll bet it will tell us. Benjamin says he wonders what this big, strong animal with the horns on his head is going to teach us. Because everybody or everything we've met on our journey has had something to teach us, hasn't it? And it's brought us a little bit closer to the child. And somehow the child has taught us while we've been on our journey even though we haven't actually got there yet. I wonder what he's going to teach us today, Benjamin. He said, let's have a look. Right. Here we are. Advent Storybook, 24 stories to share before Christmas. And there's the star that we've been following every day. And that's where we're going. Now, this story today is entitled The Ox. The Ox, Benjamin. So it's an ox. Do you know what an ox is? Perhaps we'll have a little chat in a minute. On December the 23rd, Benjamin opened the next door and found an ox. Well, Benjamin says an ox is like a very big cow. And it's very good at pulling things along, like ploughs and doing heavy work in the fields. There it is, the star in the red. The streets of Bethlehem were bustling with activity. Look at all those people. The little bear and the lamb were awed by all the people. The little bear with his rose bush and the lamb by his side. Suddenly, an ox entered the village square. He was large and strong. He wore his horns proudly like a crown. He walked by himself. No one led him. The children ran from him, frightened. There he is, look, standing proud with his crown of horns. <laughs> the ox stopped in the middle of the square, bent his knees and knelt. For a moment, the bustle stopped and everyone knelt with him. 
filled with wonder. Oh, the lamb and the little bear knelt too. Above them the star shone brighter than ever. I believe we are very close to the child now, said the little bear. The ox rose. Wait, cried the little bear. Then the ox took the little bear and the little lamb on his back. Was he so strong he could carry them with no problem, couldn't he? We must hurry, he said. The child will be born very soon and I want to be there to warm him with my breath. Oh, look. Does that mean we're almost there now? asked Benjamin excitedly. <gasps> yes, indeed, said Mother Bear. Do you see how God inspires wonder in us all? Benjamin, wasn't that a wonderful story? A literally a wonderful story, full of wonder and awe. Oh, and wasn't it amazing when that big, big ox, so heavy and strong and almost looking like a king himself when he came in and people felt scared of him, but even the ox the big strong one bowed down on his knees ready to worship and full of wonder because he was going to see the child what a precious special special child this must be Benjamin if everybody who goes to see him is so full of awe and wonder no matter whether they're a little bear a little lamb or a tiny ant, or you or me, or a king, or a big strong ox. We're all filled with awe and wonder at this child. And the children felt a bit scared of the ox, didn't they, Benjamin? They did. But he, as he was journeying to the child, he was so gentle. He helped you, didn't he, Benjamin? He put Benjamin and the little lamb on his back and he helped them and he carried them and he shared the journey with them. And he wanted to take them because he knew how special the child was. He wanted to share him with Benjamin and the little lamb. And that's how this child makes all of us feel when we know him and we've learned about him. He fills us all with so much with awe and wonder that he, we want to share him with anybody that we meet because we know that life knowing this child is so much richer and so much more beautiful and like living in a kingdom full of love and that's pretty wonderful isn't it Benjamin oh so I hope you're full of awe and wonder now too because we've got to the end of this little bit of the journey haven't we end of day 23 we've only got one more story to go one more sleep to go to Christmas Eve two more sleeps till Christmas Day and soon we're going to be at Christmas with all the joy and love that that brings to us. Can't wait to share the last day of the journey with you. And I'd love to know tomorrow what your favourite part of the journey has been. And we'll tell you ours, won't we, Benjamin? Yes. So for now, sleep well and we'll see you on Christmas Eve. Bye for now. Oh,